imagine you have huge collection of documents in text, PDF and HTML formats and you would like to swiftly find relevant content in a conversational manner while keeping your data private and local. How do we do that? The answer is anything LLM. Welcome to Tech Nuggets. In this video, I will show you how to install, configure and use anything LLM with Olama locally and privately on Windows 11. Before we begin, I often upload videos about artificial intelligence, cloud technologies and full stack development. These videos covers front-end technologies like Angular Bootstrap, back-end programming languages like Java, Python and Node.js and database like MongoDB MySQL. You can find all this and more on TechNugget channel. Please subscribe, share and like the videos. What is anything NLM in high level? Anything NLM is an open source AI tool by Mintplex Labs that turns anything into a trained chatbot you can query and chat with. Anything LLM is the easiest way to put. Powerful AI products like OpenAI, ChatGPT4, LangChain, PineconeDB, ChromaDB and other services together in a neat package with no fuss only to increase your productivity by 100x. Anything LLM can run totally locally on your machine with little overhead, you won't even notice it. Let us go to the official GitHub page to find out more. This is the official GitHub page and this application comes in two variants. One is all-in-one desktop application, other one is Docker images. So for this demo, I'll use Docker image. I look at the product overview. It's a full stack application that enables you to turn any document resource or piece of content the context that LLM can use as a reference while chatting and also it allows you to uh, choose uh, your own LLM and vector database so using this feature we can anyone can easily build a private chat GPT without any compromise and uh, the way it works is uh, uh, it, it divides your document as the object called workspaces the workspace is something similar to thread and each thread will not talk to each other so each workspace can clean some of the features it has a multi-model support uh, and multi-user support that's on the docker version only and simple UI to uh, drag and drop okay so, so these are the popular uh, LLMs it supports starting with OpenAI, um, Google Gemini, Anthrop, Logging Pace, Olama, LM Studio so most of the things it supports and uh, the embedded models also it supported most of it so OpenAI, Olama, all of that right then it comes with audio model, audio transcription model, that is anything LLM, that is, it comes with a built-in. And uh, TTS also the text-to-speech, that is a native browser built-in, and that is OpenAI TTS, and it can be configured with other. And uh, the, these are the popular database, it, it can be integrated with uh, Lens TV, this is a default, Astra, Chroma, all that you can do. Okay, so the way the application works is that the major components, front-end, server, and collector. So these are the very important components. To, more, to know more about this, uh, please visit the GitHub page and find out. Let us move on to the installation steps. As I mentioned, we'll be using as a Docker image on Windows. There are two commands. One is the Docker pull, that is image pulling, and the other one is setting up. Uh, let's go ahead and now uh, uh, do this in the PowerShell. Let us do the Docker image pull. Uh, the command will be Docker pull minflex. Labs anything LLM already pulled. Let us see. It should take less minute to refresh. And it has started downloading the changes. It is completed. So it took few seconds. So depending upon your internet speed, it will take a few minutes to a couple of minutes to a few minutes. Let's move on to the next command. Let's move to the next command. Set up before that, let us see. Docker images. Should be able to see two images. One is the latest. Okay. And now let's go ahead and put the config command. Just okay. So this is a PowerShell command. So make sure you run, run this on PowerShell. Perfect. It's uh, it started the container. Let's go ahead and see Docker VS. You should be able to see there is a one with three zero zero one. Okay, 
So since we are not provided the any name, you may contain a name. It's using random name. Let's go to the browser and access this URL that is localhost 3001. So you will see this setup page. So click on get started. So we'll be using Olama. Um, so the Olama it comes with built in. However, we are using the local one which I have in my system. And you can see uh, advanced settings that is your. Olama URL plus max tokens. Click on next. So how many people using this instance? If you have single person or team, you can mention that. So I will say just move or you like to set a password. So this is a Docker version. This gives you multi-user support. When you say my team, you'll be able to set up multiple users with a different username and password. Okay, I'll not set up the password. Let's go ahead and press. And uh, LLM selection is Olama, embedding our appearance is anything LLM embedder, the default one. Let's take vector DB also, or uh, lens DB, the default one. Okay, so you can mention our email. So this can be like, uh, say, any suggestion if you have. Okay. So you can mention where okay it's created with dead nuggets workspace and it is ready perfect ready to use now let's go ahead and test this so without adding an embedding we'll what we'll do is click on this and i'm not uploading anything let's say now i know we should see the a response from the default Olama or the Olama setup whatever we have. So it's all running in local. It will take a um, couple of seconds. Yes, you can see the response. Let us do the first test. Um, let's take a question on the Tomcat setup. Okay. So there's how to set up virtual threads. And Tomcat. Okay, this is ideally the Olam or whatever knowledge it has got, it has to show this. Okay, it, it started giving all that with the synthesized. It has generated the response. It's a quite uh, elaborative on all this. However, I wanted to get something from PDF, which I have. I have one PDF called uh, Tomcat 7 PDF. Let me go ahead and upload that. So the way we do it, Click on Upload Document. Um, so you can drag and drop. Okay, let me do that. Okay, it's uploading. It should take a couple of seconds. It was done. Already I've done that and uh, so the way we move this is move to workspace. So once you do this, uh, it will create as an embedding and it will be ready for the query. Okay, let's uh, go ahead and do that. We can close this. Okay, now let's go ahead and ask the same question. So now ideally it should uh, pick some data from the video. Well, to set up virtual threads. Totally fair. So it is giving the output. It should take a couple of seconds to complete. It has completed the response. However, you can see this is not from Olama's uh, I mean the Lama 3 response, it is actually from Tomcat PDF, which I which we uploaded. You can see the Tomcat sound PDF. And you can see where exactly it picked up the data. Perfect. So this is how we uh, chat with the, your one PDF. Okay, next let us check some of the dynamic aspects of this anything LLM. So let's say let's take some 
or recent P ones. Uh, let's let's pick up something the current event which is going on Olympic twenty twenty four. Let's find out the medal count. In order to do that, what we do is see. so you go ahead and put the URL and it fetches the content of the website and it is trying to get that content so that you can chat with it. Okay, save and embed. Let's close this and now let's check now what is the what is the medal count does China app. Perfect. You can see that it is a very crisp and nice answer. China runs total of 53 murders. Want to see the citation? You can find that because you will find this total 53 here, China. So this is awesome because uh, you can put your content. Uh, make sure the you are allowed nice structured content so that you can chat. Otherwise, the data may be a little uh, blurry, may not accurate. Okay. Um, before we close, let us uh, finally let us solve the chat settings for this uh, workspace. One is your workspace name. Then we have a. If you want to have a nice logo, you can have it. Then you have a chat setting where you can have a chat mode as a chat and query. When it's a chat, it can add uh, synthetic answers along with the, the query, uh, along with your uh, response. And the query part is where it gives you exact answer. It's a Q&A mode. Okay. Then we have other prompt count all that we have. Then we have vector database. What uh, database you can see, no total number of vector count. Then we have a agent configuration with config. There are something called config agent skills where you have other additional skills. Some of them are experimental, which I've tried and uh, it was, uh, for example, SQL connector I've tried. It did not work properly for me. Maybe I have to check. So there is quite a lot you can explore and check. So let me know. So that's all I want to share with you. Thank you. See you next time.